Thank you for staying with us. Now, cancer is rapidly becoming a major epidemic in Kenya and indeed a cause for concern. A few prominent leaders have bravely fought the disease publicly, while some, after hiding their diagnosis from the public, have in the end come out and helped shape the conversation on the burden of cancer in Kenya. Among public figures that have gone public with their cancer diagnosis is Senator Beth Mugo, who disclosed to Kenyans that she was suffering from breast cancer. This week, we pay tribute to those who have faced cancer. Although some lost the battle, their lives continue to inspire. Beth Mugo is a cancer survivor and tonight shares a story of hope in the fight against cancer cancer. Public Health Cabinet Minister in the year 2012 that veteran politician Beth Mugo was diagnosed with breast cancer. I didn't have any signs of that, pain or anything like that. This was just a general checkup. And when we did the ultrasound, that's when the lump was found. And um, they were very careful in telling me, breaking very gentle. So the doctor says to me, uh, Waziri, Minister, then I was Minister of Health, of Public Health. I can feel this alarm, a small alarm, and don't get alarmed. It, it's not necessary. Cancer has to be cancer. It has to be confirmed. But there is a lump. The diagnosis came as a shocker, as it was made during a routine medical checkup by her physician. Immediately hit me. I feel really, you know, cancer. Why would I have cancer? Why me? And. Immediately you see like, am I going to die? You know, that kind of thing. And the, they really, the oncologist encouraged me very much and, and there were two doctors. And they said, no, no, you should not panic about this. It's, we are going to treat you and you'll be all right. And uh, from there on, I did not worry again. I did not really feel I'm going to die. I know any other time I entertained that or feel sad or I took it like any other disease. Following the diagnosis, she says she was hesitant to go public as she painfully absorbed the impact of the diagnosis. Eventually, she made the choice to speak up. I decided, as difficult as it was, it was very difficult, I cannot say it was easy. I will go public and so that that might help save some lives that I get other women to be tested because they will feel the minister can get cancer. Uh, anyone then can get cancer. It doesn't matter how, who you are. After seeking treatment abroad, the cancerous lump was completely removed. She talks of strenuous treatment following the surgery, saying the support of family at this point was a great source of strength for her. Uh, my family, my husband was very encouraging, very supportive. Uh, my daughter also, they, I, they made sure that no time I feel like I got depressed because that's all I'm thinking about. It's, it's very critical, it's very important. When these news are broken to you, you have support, you have somebody, you are not just alone. Mogo now implores women and indeed men to get tested at every opportunity. She says she was fortunate the breast cancer was diagnosed at stage one and stood good chance of successful treatment. Some women tell me no, they're scared to go in case they are told that something is cancer. <laughs> don't be scared to go because if you don't go and it turns out to be cancer, it will kill you anyway. So it's better you go and know if it's cancer or not, and be treated, at least you have a chance to survive. She was finally declared cancer-free in 2013. I am cancer-free, yes, and I trust I'm fully cancer-free, but there are things I have to watch, what I eat, for example. Um, the lifestyle 
is very important. She has since opened a foundation, the Beth Mugo Foundation, to mobilize support for enhanced access to breast, cervical and prostate cancer information, screening and referral for improved prevention, early detection and treatment. It's so expensive to treat cancer. Hmm? So there are things we have to change to look at as a country, as a government. Decide, yes, there will be no duty on medicines, and especially uh, the cancer medicines. In her journey, she learned that early diagnosis and treatment could greatly reduce the burden of cancer and improve treatment outcomes.